I'm playing Fortnite here on the Xbox, but it's not downloaded on the Xbox. It's being streamed through cloud gaming platform GeForce Now. GeForce Now does have a free tier, so it's possible to play free-to-play PC games on the Xbox platform. Want to see how? Let's get started. So once you're on the Xbox dashboard, if you don't have the Edge browser on the dashboard, go to My Games and Apps. Now from here, go to the apps and search for the Edge browser. Open up the Edge browser and you'll be able to play GeForce Now through the web app. Feel free to search up GeForce Now in a search engine or you can go directly to the GeForce Now app by typing in play.geforcenow.com. Here, you will see the dashboard for the app with a listing of games by category. You do need to have a free NVIDIA account to use the free version of GeForce Now. If you're looking to get all the details to get started with GeForce Now, including your account, we have a getting started video for you to check out. Now hit the login button on the top right and GeForce Now will want to verify the device to log in. You can do this part on another device or feel free to open a new tab and type geforcenow.com slash login. Type in the correct pin to verify the Xbox. Next, you'll be able to type in your credentials to log in. You should get a security challenge sent to your email to verify that you're logging in. Make sure you hit the verify button in the email you received and hit continue and close that tab to get back into the app. Now you'll be able to play any of the games you own here on the list from various digital platforms like Steam, Epic Games, and Ubisoft Connect. This includes PC-only games like CSGO. I also recommend if you have any of those games on the platforms already to go to the settings and put in your credentials for these digital platforms so you can quickly log in when loading the game as you'll see here. This is actually required to play Fortnite and any Ubisoft Connect game, so do this first. I also recommend setting the correct bitrate for your internet connection. We highly recommend using a wired ethernet connection for high bandwidth streams. Now go back to the games tab and we'll run a game of Fortnite. Also note that GeForce Now does support mouse and keyboard since these are technically PC games. Keyboard and mouse has been known to be a bit laggy so we'll use the controller since most will be using this too. Now while in game, hit the up d-pad and left bumper to pull up the GeForce Now overlay. Here, you can play with the GeForce Now settings, including controlling the streaming quality, activating the on-screen keyboard, showing the GeForce Now streaming statistics, and having the option to quit the game if you need to, plus plenty more. Now, once you've quit the game, feel free to choose another game of your liking. That about wraps up this general overview of how to play GeForce Now on the Xbox. If you like this tutorial, feel free to give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle. This is the Black Knight. Welcome to the PC Master Race. Uh, kinda, but not really.